<laughs> Welcome back to the 700 Club. Well, trust me, I've heard this one before. There are plenty of fish in the sea, but that's another story. But we are only eating a few types of fish. Unfortunately, that's damaging to our oceans and hurting our fishermen. And our chef Barton Seaver, who says we need to make sure our seafood comes with a story. Acclaimed chef and award-winning author Barton Seaver is on a mission to restore our relationship with the ocean, the land, and with each other through dinner. Whether it's poaching, pan roasting, or smoking, he makes cooking seafood seem easy. In his new book, Two If By Sea, Barton pairs various cooking techniques with his vast knowledge of seafood for a fresh take on healthy eating. And Barton's here with us. Welcome back to the 700 Club. Uh, thrilled to be back here. Honey, Thank you so much. You've this is great. To, you've moved to Maine since we saw you last. And, and whoa. Wow, look at that. I'm getting excited. Good way to start. And off, you huh? live on a lake <laughs> up there. Oh, right on the ocean. So we wanted you to Casting feel at home. In. So we're here on Lake Dee. <laughs> Thank so you. So we very thought much. you'd feel at home. And you know, you talk so much about sustainability. That's kind of a interesting word to a lot of us. What does that mean exactly? Well, when it comes to seafood, uh, it means many things. It, it's taking just enough fish from the ocean so that the populations of the fish themselves can remain resilient and, uh, you know, remain there, yeah. while also taking enough so that we as fishermen, we as eaters, we as consumers, our economy can be sustained because seafood is the healthiest food that we can eat and we need to be eating more of it. And, you know, especially here in America, we have amazingly sustainably managed fisheries right. that be, should be supported. These are small American business people. Sure. And, you know, hey, that's a great story. Well, listen, a lot of people like fish, but they don't want to cook it at home because of the obvious reasons. They're afraid their whole house is going to smell like fish for a week. So how do we get around that? Well, the first thing is, you know, hey, let's come outside. So <laughs> first thing I want to show you is grilling up some of this red snapper that we've got, this so beautiful, gorgeous. beautiful And this product. is the Gulf of Mexico red snapper. Yes. Red snapper is one of my absolute favorites. I usually have it like when I'm in Florida or mm -hmm. in the Caribbean, but you can pretty much get it everywhere, right? North Carolina, all the way around the coast of Florida, through okay. Galveston, on down. This actually comes from my friends down at kdseafood.com. Okay. It's uh, run by a guy named Buddy Gwinden, who really, I mean, he's the quintessential small American businessman. He's taking care of his community and employing dozens of people, and he's really been behind nice. the effort to sustain, to sustain and restore the Gulf of Mexico red snapper fishery. So how would you go from this beauty to getting it ready for the grill? Well, you fillet it up, and then <laughs> by the time you get over here, I've just easy. got, a, it was, wasn't it? Just got a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt. Okay. Now what I got is just the coals, they're dying mm -hmm. down just a little bit. Yeah, you don't want hot. super, super hot mm -hmm. heat. A couple of wood chunks in there, and that's just going to add Where do you get the wood chips? You go out in your yard and get some... Well, anywhere. I mean, yeah. a lot of the time you can get these at Home Depot or Home Ace Depot. Hardware or somewhere. Okay. Even the grocery store will have them. what does that do? What is that? What does that do? Yeah. It adds sexy, seductive, smoky flavors, that rustic caramel hue to the fish. Because food. we want our fish to be sexy. Of course. Right? <laughs> okay, that's so. it. I mean, hey, if you're, that's, that's what it's all about. So what I do here is I take the fish and I just lay it directly on top of the coals. Right. And then, what do... The easiest thing to do here is because most people get worried about flipping the fish, moving it around, and yeah. you know that's why it sticks, and that's why you end up feeding the fire instead of your family. Oh. So all I do instead. I just want to make sure. Oh, and the skin is on this side. Yep. The side you're putting. So the skin down. goes okay. down, so mm -hmm. that protects the meat. So what I like to do then is ro simply rotate the grill around. Okay. So that you end up with. Uh, is that hot? Just away from the hot, and what that does is it allows it just to cook a can little put, bit slower. Can I put this one on there? Yes, you can. Go ahead. You, oh, you use this? Okay. I did not even watch you. Okay, so you <laughs> just do. <laughs> yeah, you see that beautiful smoke coming out? Oh, yeah, out? you can smell the smoke. Oh. smells awesome. Isn't that amazing? Did I do that right? Okay. Yes, you did. Okay. And so then what I like to do is because you capture all of that flavor, all, mm. of that, all of that rustic flavor, is you just take the grill cover okay. and you throw it right on. And what that does is it captures all of that heat. It captures nice. all of that flavor. And it just makes it so easy to cook. And, you but know, for the sake of TV, we're going to take the lid off of so everybody course. can see the gorgeous fish. You see that reveal, now, that how big long do I, I don't, I don't want to, I hate overcooked fish. So how long do I want to keep my snapper? Well, on something like this, you're talking about 10 minutes, 12 minutes or so. Okay. Now, these are only about half inch, three quarter inch thick. So they don't need a whole lot of time, but that's really where covering that grill comes now, in. Now, if I it was new with this, and I kind of am, because I usually just go to a restaurant and order it. Um, would you smell the fish you, to make sure that it has a good smell, or I mean? Yeah, I'm absolutely. Like, I mean, one of the things. So you don't want you, it doesn't want it. You don't want it to smell fishy, right? So like. It, it should smells good. It smells fresh. It smells like a cucumber. It should smell like cucumbers, <laughs> watermelon, violets, yeah. and it should smell like the sea. Mm -hmm. If it smells like fish, 
it's it's not seafood anymore. Okay, so, so from here we're gonna make this gorgeous uh, orange yep. glaze. This is or a, a great little sauce, super sauce. easy okay. to make. So orange segments to go on our snapper. Yep, and you know snapper, it, it, it's because it's got that slightly you know sort of pungent bite to it. I yeah. mean it's you know, it's a mild fish, but it's just beautiful in flavor. So those wood chips, I feel like I'm shouts. camping now. Isn't it's it? Awesome. Yeah, it's like we're outside. We are so outside. olive oil, orange, a okay. little bit of shallot. I love I love a little bit of spice in there, especially because sure. we're you know talking sort of Gulf of Mexico things, sure, and just a little bit of vinegar and salt. Nice. And you mix that up. Ooh, that's so easy. Yeah. I can do that. Okay. So and there you go. I mean, you could do this with a mix of citrus, throwing some grapefruit and lime in there, Man, and then watch good. this. Oh my gosh. Just, Fantastic. You, know, I, you just I, lay that right over. Mm. That's yeah. so healthy too. Just looks so inviting. Yeah, and it's so beautiful. Okay, that's gorgeous. Um, and what are these? <laughs> that's dill. That's one of my favorite herbs. Just doing, you know, a nice know little that. sort of. I don't cook that much. Okay, um, so that's dill. All right, then we have a zucchini as a side dish. The, you know, it, it's summer. This is the zucchini charity season. You cannot <laughs> give it away. You know, this is how you this is how you prank your neighbors right. by leaving zucchini, <laughs> leaving leftover zucchini on their right. uh, on their front doorstep, ringing the doorbell and running away. Okay. So what I like to do is zucchini, make a, just a mm -hmm. spiralizer. You know, it's a simple tool you can buy, uh, or you just thin shaving them. Just a little bit of garlic into nice. butter, garlic and uh, everything better. Garlic and butter, yeah, you know. So then just these zucchini noodles, throw them in there, and this okay. takes no more than two minutes or so, right. and just it's a get very a, quick get them all thing. Spirally like this. Uh, that's a, a simple little cutter. It's this magical little okay. machine. You, you throw it in there, and you. Just, okay. Just do this and available okay. online and in a lot of cooking stores. You go to your local cooking store and you'll find that. So. Okay, so this is our side dish. Then it's here is um, the gorgeous completion. Yeah. So you just finish okay. it with a little bit of salt yeah. and then I just throw in some herbs and literally just kind of let it wilt down. Okay. You don't want to cook it out to that's the point parsley, where it's right? that's parsley. See, are you proud of me? Hang okay. On. Um, you throw in mint, whatever you want in there, and you end up with this beautiful side dish. And between these two things, I mean, gosh. See, I don't know how you knew this, but my two favorite fish, I our, our salmon uh -huh. and snapper. Oh, there we and go. well, maybe groupers. Groupers like my top three. Okay, so now we have this gorgeous uh, salmon. I don't like to make it at home. I, I feel like I always mess it up. But you say there's a, a really great way that everybody can make salmon at home. Absolutely foolproof okay. way. And you know, this is also a, a great way to combat that that idea that oh, my whole house is going to smell like salmon. No, yeah. If you're sautéing something, you're, you're you're throwing up all those particulates into the air, and yeah, it's going to smell like something. The same way it smells like chicken when you're doing that. Slow roasting, 250, 275 degrees. Just okay. throw in the oven a little bit of uh, salt, olive oil, throw it in there. How long? 20, 25 minutes or so. Step okay. back, have a glass of wine, chat with your girlfriends, talk to your friends, call your mom on the phone. <laughs> hey, oh, my, mom, the salmon's in the oven. Guess what? It's totally fine because it's not going to overcook. That's Okay, that's what I need to try because um, do you put water in the pan? No, just just the salmon, just okay. the, and this works with any fish, but just the okay. fish, olive oil, little seasoning, Gorgeous. and then uh, over top of it, just a compound butter, and this is a garlic compound butter. Nice. All that is is you know room temperature softened butter mixed with herbs and flavors. It looks gorgeous. Easy. And and then this is the oh, how's our snapper? Are we okay? Oh, we're doing perfect. <laughs> okay. We're doing absolutely perfect. Okay. See how um, easy fish cooking see, is? Well, with you, it's really easy. Okay, I wonder why. Um. This is a salmon ceviche. Right, and a ceviche is where raw fish, you know, pristine, highest quality fish, right. is marinated in citrus juice or, or vinegar, oftentimes a combination of the two, and it cooks and it tightens and firms up that meat so it ends up with a, a beautiful so texture. You don't have to worry that it's essentially raw, but it's getting cooked by the lime juice, like you said, right? Correct. Okay. Now, you want to be, you absolutely have to mm -hmm. buy sushi quality fish, sure. uh, but this is only that, just marinated and given up a little bit of flavor, onions, and you get a little uh, celery in there for crunch yeah. and chili flakes. All my favorite foods. And then over here, we have something gorgeous. Is that mango or? Those are uh, tomatoes, oh, all tomatoes. sorts oh, of, tomatoes. I mean, okay. that's just summer bonanza right there. Really that's gorgeous. Uh, heirloom tomatoes, you know, eggs. This is just a Cobb salad, and but I've thrown in there. crab leg. This is a big crab leg right yep. here. Everybody's favorite, the king yeah. crab. Mm -hmm. So I mean, just look at that beauty. It's bounteous. I mean, that's just, you put that on the table, you know what anybody of your guests would say? Why do you love me? Don't you? <laughs> you, just, you love me. I mean, look at that. It just screams love. And that isn't that, that the best part about cooking? It screams love to me. So I am feeling the love here. Let's try something. All right. What are we going to eat? Well, um, you know. Okay. I, I really love snapper. So I'm going to try a little bite of this right now. We didn't rehearse this. So I don't know if we were supposed to be eating this, but can I do this? Okay. Oh my gosh. Let me give you a little bit of the zucchini pasta here. 
And just look at this. Seriously, this is awesome. Oh my gosh. Pat, I know you're so jealous right now. This fish, fish is so fresh. It and is beautiful fresh. I mean, mm. just look at the, look at these guys. They're glistening. I mean, they're, you know, they're still looking at you. There you go. Mm. Mm. Is that amazing? Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. So you put that over a little bit of bed of this and Oh, man. You see how that well that sits up on a plate, and that, you know if you're having trouble heart. getting your children to eat vegetables, it, just tell them fun. it's pasta. That's all it is. It's pasta, right? Everybody's okay with pasta. So listen, we've got a book, your book, which is right here. I love the title, Two If I See. Thank you. It's one If I Land, right? Yep. Two If I One If I Land, Two If I See. Okay. Um, you can get all of these amazing recipes. I'm making that snapper. I'm gonna make that snapper. Uh, by getting Barton's book, uh, it's called, again, Two If I See. You can uh, get a copy in stores nationwide. It's, it's an amazing book, great pictures. His beautiful wife's in here, uh, pictures of their home in Maine, and a lot, lot of information about sustainability and understanding the fish that we, that we love. Yeah. And the fish that's no. so healthy for us and supports mm -hmm. small American businesses and takes care of our environment, takes care of us. What could be better? God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you.